I would say until from from 2008 until maybe 2016, um, so uh, eight years, um, I had never gone to commissary. Um, I wasn't able to. Um, I just lacked the funds. So it was, you know, starting in around 2016, um, I uh, became able to uh, go to commissary uh, with, you know, a little bit more funds. Um, I was uh, getting a, a level of help from a Catholic organization that I knew since I was a little kid. You know, sometimes they'll send like $600 or so a month. Um, and as far as managing managing that, at first I didn't manage it well. Um, I mean, I was <laughs> going to commissary for you know the first time ever with something that I can actually use. You know, uh, enough money where I can actually purchase things that I haven't been able to purchase. My drinking coffee, uh, uh, you know, started while I was incarcerated. And it was not only because I loved the taste, um, it was also because, you know, it helped to keep me awake. You know, for a long period of time, I was afraid to go to sleep at night. And so I would purchase as much coffee as I, well, not as I, as I could, but at least $20 of the $55 went to coffee. And then, you know, if just in case there were other things that I needed, I couldn't purchase at commissary because I used up what the maximum was. I'd buy a lot of tobacco products, you know, and use that as money to buy things off the street, you know, um, like food and, and, you know, additional hygiene products and, and more coffee, you know. I wanted to be able to eat something different. I didn't want the same monotonous, tasteless, you know, sometime nauseating food that I had been eating for such a long time. Um, I wanted to be able to, you know, uh, taste the good, you know, uh, stew over rice or, you know, uh, fish and rice or, you know, a ziti meal or, um, I wanted to have the experience of being able to, you know, make this for myself. And, you know, I wanted to, to, there was something about the means to do so that was attractive as well. There's no holidays in prison, you know, not really. And so, you know, if you want to, in a way, uh, enjoy a holiday, um, you know, as far as the, the food goes, at least, um, you know, you would have certain uh, uh, money set aside that you would purchase certain items to a package um, that would simulate, you know, the, the common experience for the, the holiday, you know, Thanksgiving being an example, um, certain catalogs sold, you know, the pre-cooked, you know, turkey breasts, etc. So turkey, cans of cranberry sauce, you know, uh, the uh, instant mashed potato mix to make mashed potatoes and gravy, um, the macaronis and cheese and seasonings to make, you know, uh, fake simulated, but at that time, very good, baked mac and cheese. The other day I made um, a stir fry shrimp with uh, uh, broccoli and mushrooms over, you know, Chinese sticky rice, um, you know, lasagna, ziti, um, you know, fried pork chops, fried chicken, Spanish rice, plantains, and fried fish. <laughs> 